Hello, my name is John Sicardi. Today I'm going to talk to you about Practical Instrument Electronics Thermocouple line of calibrators. We have four calibrators in the thermocouple only line. Uh, the 520 and 521B are simulate or source only calibrators. The 520B is set up to one thermocouple type only while the 521B is set up for 14 different thermocouples. They also both will simulate the millivolt uh, voltage that corresponds with the thermocouple type and temperature set point. The other two calibrators in this series are the Pi 322 and the Pi 422. These are source and read calibrators. The 322 is set for four different thermocouple types, J, K, T, and E, and the 422 is set for all 14. Again, both calibrators also source the millivolt signal. First, we'll look at the connections on the 422 and 322 that are available. Uh, we have the jacks. This is for the leads for millivolt test. Uh, a mini connector for the standard thermocouple mini plugs that are used. And then also two brass screws here if you're using bare thermocouple wires. Why am I telling you about this? The brass screws give us another important uh, feature of our calibrator, which is stability. What we've designed in our cold junction circuitry is uh, a brass block there provides a thermal mass. So we use a high precision thermistor that's thermally bonded to the brass blocks. This provides stability for our measurements on the cold junction internal to the calibrator. The thermistor we use is a 0 0.05 degrees Celsius accurate thermistor, and it's uh, guaranteed by the supplier for 11 years. So that gives us not only high accuracy, but also high stability in our readings. I'll give you a quick demo here on how easy it is to use a Pi calibrator. Uh, for that, we'll be using a mini thermocouple connection. And we'll do some reading of uh, ambient temperatures. To start with, I'll turn it on into the read mode. To get into the menus, you double click the easy dial. And we'll set our units here to degrees Fahrenheit. The thermocouple type we're using today is a type K. Simply scroll through the menus by adjusting the easy dial knob. What we'll do is we'll set up our display of millivolts and we'll display the cold junction temperature. And then we'll exit the menu. One of the nice features of the 422 is using the display to give the user more information than just the temperature being measured. If you take a look now on the display, you'll see we tell the thermocouple type. Above that is the ambient room temperature of 73.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Above that is the corresponding millivolt value, which would be for a type K at this temperature. And then you can see the temperature of the cold junction internal to the unit as 76.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll just heat this up slightly to make sure our thermocouple is working correctly. And you can see that the temperature now is going up uh, corresponding to body heat. The other nice feature of the Pi uh, 322 and 422 and many other five Pi calibrators is that they're automatically stored the low and high values. By checking the easy switch button here and moving it down to the low position, you can see the lowest point stored was 73.7 .7 degrees. And to the high position, the highest recorded value was 93.7. That concludes our use of the Pi 422 thermocouple calibrator.